Collector's eyes can get caught up on the beautiful patches or horrible autos on all different types of cards, but rarely do we ever take a moment to look at that photo that graces the canvas of the cardboard. Thanks to our Dave and Adams community, we've decided to uncover the stories beyond the 3x4 still frame. By 3x4, I mean the standard size of a trading card. During our time together, we'll pick an iconic photo that runs deeper than just a professional athlete in action and their stats on the back. Let's take the now infamous 1990 NBA Hoops Mark Jackson number 205 card. Jackson was a staple of the Knicks roster in the late 80s and early 90s for the better part of five seasons at the beginning of his career. He spent those seasons with New York legends Patrick Ewing, John Starks, and Charles Oakley. He even won Rookie of the Year honors in the 1987-88 season. He helped the Knicks climb out of the basement of the league, and following his time in New York, he became a bit of a journeyman, finding himself on the Clippers, Pacers, Nuggets, and Raptors, a short second stint with the Knicks, Jazz, and finally Rockets. But some fans may not recognize Jackson for his play. Enter Eric and Lyle Menendez. Their story shares the same timeline as Mark Jackson's New York days, and these two now commonly go by the Menendez brothers. Before we go any further, I wanna remind you to subscribe to our Dave and Adams YouTube page and turn the notifications on so you never miss a minute of our content. The Menendez brothers' story dates back to late summer of 1989. Eric and Lyle famously murdered their parents, Jose and Kitty, in their Beverly Hills mansion. They told police it happened while they saw Batman at a movie theater and attending the Taste of LA festival. Following the murder, the brothers spent money extravagantly, including trips, watches, cars, and even courtside tickets to a Knicks game at MSG. This moment became immortalized in the photo used for Mark Jackson's trading card in the 90-91 NBA hoop set. In a tweet, Action Network's Darren Ravel says the arrest of Eric and Lyle came in March of 1990, and the photo on the card is from the 89-90 season and came out before the 90-91 season began. Authorities convicted the brothers of murder, and their trial played out on TV in 1993. In the summer of 1996, both received a life sentence without parole. The Menendez brothers were back in the mainstream around 2018 with multiple outlets presenting multiple series and movies about their story. The hobby can work in strange ways, and for a moment, people inside and outside collecting wanted to get their hands on the number 205 Mark Jackson hoops card. People couldn't believe the story of two wealthy brothers killing their parents. When the Menendez brothers started circulating in the media again, they publicly stated they opposed their lifetime prison sentence. The brothers went viral and it caused a ripple effect in the hobby. Multiple sales on eBay and PWCC recorded $400 plus for a PSA 10 of the card. The market has since come down to earth, but it shows how media can influence the hobby. Collectors can once again safely grab this card for about the price of a happy. There's not many collectors out there that PC Mark Jackson and look for any other of his cards besides this one. The fact the photo used on this particular card came after they killed their parents just adds a shock value and more of a lure to this piece. It's not often that you capture two convicted murderers in the back of a trading card. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment on this video on which card we should take beyond the 3x4 next. Until next time, collectors, collect responsibly.